What's poppin' homies? It's your favorite homegirl, Gossip Girl, and I'm just coming in with a bit of news. Okay, so it says here she bought it all. Watch a Dollar Tree shopper hoard dozens of boxes of toilet paper. Well, it's a video here. If I can snatch that video, I will show this video at the end of this commentary. Okay? So, but right now I'm just going to give you the news. If I can't get the video, you'll see pictures of, you know, what, what she's doing. As most of us are stockpiling to have enough basic supplies at home during this time, one person took hoarding to a step above. A video making the rounds over the weekend shows a woman stocking boxes upon boxes of one of the most precious commodities, toilet paper, as well as other paper goods. A woman shooting the video is chastising the shopper outside of Dollar Tree in Pompano Beach for buying out the entire store of paper towels. A man is showing is shown helping the woman load the boxes of TP, napkins, paper towels, and other essential products onto a truck. A pickup truck at that. Many boxes say Scotty's, a maker of facial tissues. Okay. So, a woman told me to mind my effing business, <laughs> says the woman with the camera. The video is going to go viral. Too bad I didn't get her when she was yelling at me. They sold it to me, answers the shopper, who continues to take boxes off a dolly. I hope you're not going to sell it to the other people, says the other woman. She bought it all, and she thinks it's right, and it's, okay, and it's not okay. You're pathetic, says the paper hoarder. I'm pathetic with the lady with the video. I didn't buy the, uh, the entire Dollar Tree for myself. Chris Allen, Afflin of Fort Lauderdale, told the Miami Herald he was in the area on Friday and a mutual friend shared the woman's video, though it hasn't, though it has since been taken down. So, me trying to get that video, I'm going to see. If not, I don't know. I'll try, guys. I was actually at a nearby store in the plaza that day. Wish I would have seen this in person, he said. Dollar Tree has a policy in place for more than a week limiting the quantities on select high-demand products sold per customer, she wrote in an email Monday morning. Unfortunately, the policy was not followed in this specific instance, and we have addressed it with the store team. We appreciate the hard work of all our associates serving their communities during this unpre unprecedented time. A worker who also answers the phone at, at that Dollar Tree on Monday said there are no paper products left except a few paper plates, but that would be restocking the shelves at some time this point, at this point. See, this is why people have an issue with people doing things. It's okay, and I know for a fact Dollar Tree has that policy in place because last week when I went to go get the... Um, I think some paper towels, you could only get four. It was four per household. You could only get four. And so they probably going to knock it back down to two, you know, but you just never know. One bad apple ruins for everybody because people don't know how to act. You mean to tell me they knew this policy was in place and they did not follow the rules. So that store should be in trouble for doing that. Um, they should get a fine. Okay, they she should they should get a fine. Now, why does she need to clear out the store? Why? It's being greedy and it's hoarding because she can. That's why she did it because she can and she got away with it. Now, as for haulers, preppers, and couponers, couponers, to my preppers and to my couponers, if you have enough stock. Okay, to last you for months, and what you're using is not making a dent in anything. Please be mindful and let the other people get some necessities and stuff that they need. Okay, because it's not fair and it's not right to do this. And this, and as you can see, because this person could do that, she gets she got away with it. Now, I have been seeing conversations of couponers. You know, people in the in comment sections of lifting videos going back and forth with other people saying, Hey, this is how we make our money. Uh, our family, we, we depend on our coupons. But 
Okay, but if you have a stock full, I've seen some of you couponers videos. I've seen your stockpile. Some of you could wait a few months. It's not going to hurt. Some of you can't. Some of you coupon um, are not extreme couponers. So you coupon when you can. Now, I'm not talking to you guys, but the extreme couponers who have a stockpile to, fill up, to feed a whole army or to take care of a whole church load of people, come on. Let someone else get some um some some basic needs okay um as for preppers preppers been doing this for a long time but I'll ask you as well if you can just fall back and not purchase things at this time if you got enough supplies if i was a prepper and i had enough supplies to, to get my family through a, a whole year i'm not gonna be out there shopping getting anything if i could i would donate a few items to the elderly and if i can't i can't I'm not trying to tell you guys what to, what to do, but just be mindful. And Dollar Tree haulers, if you got to get the necessary, your, your, your needs, get your needs and that's it. Everything else is irrelevant at this time. If you don't need it, don't haul it, okay? From one hauler to another, <laughs> all right? If you don't need it, don't haul it. I haven't really bought anything new from the Dollar Tree that, was the, that I didn't need. I haven't for a very long time. So, I... And it's keeping down my whole clutter, you know, so I'm good on that. But we also have to be careful about going outside frequently in some areas. You know, that there's a lockdown after a certain time. Um, and some areas is not. And another thing I'm going to say, you cannot be coming to someone else's channel talking reckless, talking out your face to people. If you can't speak to someone in a nicely manner or send them an email, hey, I saw that you did that haul. Did you really need that stuff? Even though it's not any of your business because they're not, they not taking care of you and your household, you got to lay off. Stop being disrespectful. That's, that's their channel. If that's what they want to show and put up, if that they want to be outside frolicking and driving up and down the street at a time like this, that's on them. And it does not affect you. I don't understand why people that... Why people, when they do things, they let it affect them. It doesn't affect you. Let them do what they have to do. Because like I said, in some cities and states, people are not on lockdown. People still have to work. My husband still has to work. But thank God he's on vacation this week. Okay? But next week, he has to work. So I'm worried about him being out there in the street, you know, every day um, with this thing going on. Okay? I worry about myself. Um, being out there because if we run out of stuff I have to go to the store and get it right I worry about myself getting it I'm trying to be as much, as cautious as I can you know because I don't want to bring nothing back to my kids I don't want him to come bring us anything and mommy and my husband talked about this if something was to happen and if he caught it we're going to isolate yes we love each other and we don't want to be apart from each other but we have to think about what's right and we we will uh, we will isolate ourselves from each other because somebody has to be around to take care of these boys okay but hopefully and i'm praying that it never comes to that situation but we already talked about this and i love my husband dearly and he loved me but we just made that decision okay so what people decide to do that's on them and just be mindful about coming reckless in someone's comment section about them um, buying stuff or trying to catch that deal. If they want to risk their life trying to get that deal, that coupon deal or whatever, that's on them. But you don't know what their household situation is like. You don't know if they live from paycheck to paycheck and have to go get those deals. Okay? You, know, you just don't know um, what those, you know, what somebody's household is like. Especially if they didn't put it out there for you to know. Okay, so just be mindful. But other than that, you know, this lady, she really aggravated me with this whole hoarding, taking boxes and boxes and boxes off the truck. Really got under my skin. And it's just ridiculous. So, you guys, that's all I got for you this morning. And I will talk to you later. If you like this video, please give us a thumbs up. And if you like my channel, please hit that subscribe button. You know, since we all inside, quarantine, subscribe and chill. And I'll talk to you later.